What's up party people? This video is in response to a question someone asked on the amazing Elemental Community Facebook group. If you use Elemental and you're not part of this group, you gotta get on there. Okay, the question was that when we're using the text editor and we add bullets or numbers, there's always a space that appears above. And if you try to mess around with it, it becomes very complicated. So let's look at how we can try and get around that with no CSS coding. Okay, okay. Please don't hate me. I've got nothing against CSS coding. And there are ways you can do this with CSS coding. But I'm trying to aim this video at those people out there that are a little bit worried or afraid of using any bit of coding and they just want a really simple solution. Because Elementor, it's meant to be a page builder where you don't need any coding. So I'm just giving a bit of love out there to, to anyone out there, okay? So please don't hate me. Right, we're in Elementor and I'm just going to add in a text editor to one section. Let's just um, move this around a bit like so. So we've got about 200 and 200 from the bottom. And there is a text editor in there and you're probably thinking, I can't see it. And that's because my styling is a little bit warped at the moment. Anyway. We've got some wording there, okay? Now, if I go into the content and underneath, after the last word, I hit return and I add in a bullet, can you see there is a space, a return after that? And if I just type in N1, N2, N3, there is a space there. And I'm gonna hit return now, add in just some random text, hit another return, and I'm now gonna add in a number list. And look, we just have this spacing. If you go to text, and there, uh, there's one of our videos to show how to remove carriage returns and things like that, that solution is not going to work here. I better let you know now. So don't go thinking you can just shove that in. It won't work because that only works for the bottom, the very last line. Anyway, when you start to mess around here with trying to delete the line or anything, it will work to a point. So it, right now here, I'm going to start trying to remove some of the spacing like so. But it works, but then it doesn't fully work. So what we're getting here at the moment is I can delete the space that was between here and the bullet. I, I deleted the space between the text and the numbers. But if I now try to delete the space between the bullet and the text, look, I already have here. And it's not, it doesn't go anywhere. It is still there, the spacing. There is CSS coding out there. You can search for it. There'll be people on the Elemental group that will tell you what to use. And there's, it's not the easiest to understand bit of code, by the way. You stick it in and it will do the job for you. But what if you don't want that? So what you could do is use two solutions. Number one is use Notepad if you have a Windows PC. Solution two, if you have a Mac, is to use Text Editor. And that's what I'm going to use here. So I'm just going to go to my Launchpad and I'm just going to do Find Text Edit. And I'm going to open a new document. So this is similar to Notepad, okay? You got it on the Windows PC, use that. For Mac, use a text edit. It's free. It's, it'll be there in your application somewhere, okay? Don't use Word because people automatically think, well, I'll do it in Word and then just copy and paste it over. Word actually will have some hidden little coded gremlins in there. So it will, it will still bring it over and not give you exactly what you wanted. So I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna type new uh, sentence, hello, hi, goodbye. I haven't really thought this out, have I? And then I'm gonna hit a return and I'm gonna start a new line and say new line. I'm now gonna hit a return and I'm now gonna do a space and I'm gonna say new line after space. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to add in a bullet list. And we'll call this bullet B1, B2, B3. I'm now gonna hit return, get rid of that last bullet and just say um, no space like that, but new line. We'll hit return, return again. And let's add in a number like so. And we'll just put uh, N1, N2, return get rid of the last one. And we're now gonna add in another line, but with a space, so space, new line. Does that make sense? 
I hope it does. You know, new line, space, new line after space and all of that. OK, what you then do is you copy that text as it is. You go over to your text editor. Let's just get rid of everything we got there. There should be nothing in there in the visual text. OK, now what you might think you're going to do is just paste it. And look, there's loads and loads of lines appeared, and it's not like what my text edit says. Look, there should be no space between the first two lines, but we have got that. That's because I just pasted. Don't just paste. Let's get rid of that. Okay. What you need to do is on a Windows PC, when you're pasting, right click, and you will get the option to paste as text. Paste as text. Do what it says. On a Mac, when you paste it, right click and do paste and match style. So now I do paste and match style and look, it is looking, let's just open this up here. It's doing what we told it to do. In fact, let's just increase the font here so it's a little bit more comparable-ish. Whoa, come back. There we go. So yeah, I, yeah, okay, look, I know there's a bit of a line here, but if I go to my style now and I go to typography, um, and I just mess around the line height, okay, I will get it a little bit closer. So please don't jump out going, hey, there's a space. It's not, it's not a space. But it's now following the format of what we had there. And that's how you do it. That is how you can have a bit more control. Yes, 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 again, CSS coding, and there's other ways you can do it. But I'm just trying to help out those that are happy to use Notepad or text edit. Do your, do your wording and how you want the layout here, and then paste over. There, because there is a drawback to doing this method. If I go over to text editor and I go to the content and I now, after B3, type in, I want to now add in B4. Watch the screen. You see that? It's added in a space. And when I now try to add in a bullet, it's now gone like that. And it's now not going to allow me to do what I want. And if I go to text, I you know, it, 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 it basically is not going to play ball with what you think you want. It, look, and look, the entire formatting is completely messed up now. So I'm pretty sure you're going to say, we hate you. But no, what you need to do is if you've kept a copy of your text in text edit or notepad, save it into a folder, you know, make sure you've got proper structure here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to type B4, B5, whatever. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my text editor, delete what I've got there, right click, paste and match style. Boom. There it is. So this is a no CSS coding way of how to have a bit more control over text editor, how you can add returns or carriages however you want. And by the way, look, if you do go into here and you decide, right, I'm going to make all of this bold and I'm going to make the size a certain size and I'm going to change the color like so, not like that, sorry, probably not like that. Let's just change, not the background, but the text color. Let's just put it as a, as a murky color there. When you paste that over, it is not gonna paste over the formatting, okay? I wanna make that clear right now. All it's gonna do when we paste is bring over the content. So if you're gonna do any coloring or anything like that, that's what you can do over here. So I'm now gonna add in your bold color there and I might say, okay, let's make it a red color, whatever. You can do that here. So again, it is adding a bit of extra work to what you might wanna do, but this is just a dead simple way of controlling the text edit and spacing. Please give me a like, please subscribe and don't hate me. I'm just trying to help you. Take care, see you soon.